check, check, one, two, check. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris. Um, I'll do a quick introduction before I get started into playing Stanley's Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, my name is Chris. I've been um, working on the Expanse, or I have worked on the Expanse all six seasons. Uh, I'm a VR designer and also a game developer, solo game developer. Um, so I'm doing something different in my channel today. I am playing uh, a new game that just got released. And this game is very special because the original game got me into game development. And I'm really excited to get it, you know, try it out and let's just get right into it. Um, yeah, pretty much the Stanley Parable, the original. And This is the story of a man named Stanley. I was going to say, um, also, Stanley worked for a company in a big the, building uh, where he Half -Life was employee series got number really into uh, Employee game number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, I'm telling so him excited. what buttons to push, <laughs> how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. So we got a little introduction and going on here. Might have considered it so winding, also, thank you, Sir Gussie, for uh, moderation. Made exactly Always glad to have job. you here. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. Well, Chris is happy that I'm playing this game. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. So basically, this game kind of goes in a loop. Forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him inst- All right, I'm just gonna skip because I wanna get right into it. So- All of his co-workers were gone. That was what just the intro mean? cutscene. Stanley now decided right to go to it. the meeting room. Um, I've actually simply missed a memo. played the original quite a bit, so I'm pretty much just gonna skip right to the doors. So you have a choice between going left and right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, go he left. entered the door on his left. You can go to the right, but I decided to go to the left. And uh, if you haven't seen any of the yeah, footage, there was from not a single person here either. Stanley Parable. Feeling a wave um, of disbelief, Stanley was... decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This pretty much looks the same so far. Just better graphics, better lighting. Um. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover yeah, not an indication of any is. human it's life. Shocked, no. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who yeah. orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. Uh, okay. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth. Thank you for telling me uh, how are my levels now. Him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course Two, stanley couldn't possibly eight, have known this four five yet incredibly by simply pushing random hold on let me try to adjust keypad, my head stanley happened to input the correct is that better by sheer luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway So far, everything seems to be the same. Um, again, the graphics look better than the uh, Descending original. Descending into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his But chest, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Free to think for himself, I hope my mic levels. Now it's okay. All right, thank you, Sir Gussie. Why did he feel this now? Yeah, another thing I want to do too. If anyone, to him. this it... question would not go unanswered for long. If anyone's in the chat and you want to talk about the expanse, I could talk about the expanse, but uh Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, why don't we just take the escape route? So basically this game has multiple different branching pathways. Word, escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Let's go meet my violent death. The so door I could have behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'm not going to do that. Let's keep moving At this forward. Point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. 
So I think you get smashed by something with this ending. Or no. Huh. I think this is... Oh yeah. As the machine whirred into motion, so I was right. You dropped down closer and closer to his demise, and then get smashed. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Well, I think I'm gonna turn the the game volume down just a little bit. All right. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. That might be better, actually. Story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision. Uh, no, there's no news, uh, which is neither good nor bad. Uh, but yeah, I don't know anything about it. Uh, what's happening with the future? I haven't heard anything. We'll have to see. Um, I think I might make a video talking about a little bit of it, but um, farewell, Stanley cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated. But as soon as I'm, uh, as I hear something and body, something does happen in the instantly. future, I'll definitely make a video on it or talk about it on the channel. All right. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Okay. When every pass this the is has been created for you long in advance, similar death to the first making game. life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Let me just try to find the exit. So yeah, now this is a, a room just kind of explaining everything, but it looks the same so far. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. I mean, there might be some differences. Game design mock-up. Freedom ending. Yeah, this is the same as uh, the original game so far. Yeah, so one of the reasons why, and uh, I'm also developing a game as well, and um, the branching pathways, I got inspired by Stanley's Parable to do that. Narration outtakes. And finally, it was finished. Oh, that's funny. Um, although I'm inspired by this game, um, they're inherently different. Uh, mine's more of a sci-fi interpretation of the different branching pathways um there's no narrator like in this one they have a narrator which is pretty pre prevalent um where do i go i can't remember early version of the lounge yeah, so it's kind of cool because they show you, like, uh, progress that they made in the game. Oh, yeah, with the branch. So there's some paths here. I mean, I wouldn't say uh, it's sad because we the fact that we even got six seasons of the show is quite impressive, especially after a cancellation. Um, yeah, I mean, if they ever want to continue it, that'd be awesome, but... I I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay, so that can should be see? one ending. Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh, wow, it's... Beautiful Listen sunset outside my you apartment. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true So choice. one of my goals is I want to try to get to choose a it. different branching pathway choose. that isn't in the original game. So 
this pretty much I've already experienced before in the original, but we'll see if uh, there'll be a different branching pathway or new content soon. I think there will be. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to so the meeting room. So that would be one loop, and now I'm going back to play another loop. Okay, when we came to a why don't we go door, right this, this time? This was the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. See, now ah, I'm wondering... Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, but eager to get I wonder if they used the same textures as the original the one. Open door on his left. Have to figure... For an HD remake, now they probably would have to... Uh... Okay, do Stanley I was so this bad way? at following directions, okay, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I oh, that, those boxes look a lot better than the original one. Difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, yep. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. All right, so far Let it all looks... It. Let me Same. prove that I'm on your side. Okay, I can't remember. Give me a uh... chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Okay, I'll Stanley go through the Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really I forgot have wanted about you to that. be happy all this Players. time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get some. Yeah, the running and the room and does look just the way pretty clean. Like, like there could be a little Don't bit more objects clean, in, in, in and around. I to stop. I would, we would both but the, the original so people who made this game, they were a pretty small team. Stopped. And I think, well, I think I have. So a this kind of just loops for yeah. a while. Let me show you. <laughs> Those doors, red pill and blue pill. I don't know. It could be. It could be red pill, blue pill idea. I think the whole idea with red and uh, red and blue are two different hmm. thematic want? colors, I guess. What are we looking for? Hmm? Oh yeah. Here. Yes. So oh, this is still similar to if we just the stay right here, right original this game, I believe. With this place, Stanley. I think I feel happy. So right now, if anyone's played the original happy. game, we're still... Uh, I haven't seen any new content yet. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of all this. Right. Please, it's so no, funny because I haven't played the Don't original game in a while, me. so this is giving me a full jump me. off. No. Oh, thank God you lived. You have me. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. I still think die, everything's we'll the same so back. far. Why are you doing this? All right. Um. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Sure. I yes. think. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? So I think I need to go back outside. I haven't played this in a while. Oh, it's cool. It's red now. So if you were to do this effect, it's actually quite easy, like in Unity. Like what would you do is you just have your um, skybox, right? You'd have a particle effect going around, and then you'd have a, uh, a platform, obviously, up here. 
and then a separate mesh because if you can see the uh the mesh the texture on the outside is just black so it kind of just blends into the background no so perhaps not those were definitely the martian gravity <laughs> yes oh look there's some junk here there's a it's a cable all right let's go back to the top so i'm about 15 minutes in and i have yet to see oh any God. new content um really how much you dislike my it does look better i mean it's throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it you were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy it's uh an hd remake correctly. remake so it is hd i don't know if i'm playing it in hd i have a weird setup going on but well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it i don't know anymore I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. I can? I don't remember doing it this many times. Like up and down, up and down. All right, let me go one more time. Yeah, if this was Martian gravity, it wouldn't hurt me at all. <laughs> all right, let's go one more time. Is it over? There we go. So now I think I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going back. Alrighty. So yeah, and also, um, if anyone's watching this right now and is interested in my next video that's Expanse related, I'm thinking about Quartz doing something that has to do with uh, the, the Pella. Perhaps he had simply so yeah, I'll just leave it at that. And uh, it'll be fun. Oh, new content! Here we go! So... Took about 16 minutes, oh, but now we're into content? new content. What does that mean, new content? Oh, I'm excited. So everything from here, yeah. So that obviously wasn't in the in the first one. So holy crap, we're in new content zone. It's exciting. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Oh, it's on consoles too. I didn't know that. That's cool. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I, I like how self-aware it is. It just it just knows. But I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. All right. So. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? We could move should somewhere. We, should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. So, uh, the one thing I'm noticing, there isn't a lot of sound for the elevator going up, which is kind of interesting. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. It's so self aware. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Oh, you can jump now. You weren't able to jump before. Oh, that's kind of cool. So now you can jump in the game. That's exciting. I had no idea you can jump. Okay, let's see what happens when I get to zero after jump the jump circle. Jumps remaining. Oh, what? I have no more this, jumps. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something yes, else. Yes, Sir right? Gussie, the narrator's voice is awesome. That's actually one of the biggest draws to the game is the narrator's voice. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content. I feel like right I could have just walked right through and not done the jump circle trillion. thing, but. You could put that on the box. 
the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours oh, of new like content. New content. If, oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's oh, I, see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. I wouldn't be surprised if you just go back and it's like another jump circle. That's Thank it? you for enjoying it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when I feel like this game's game trolling game you a little bit. No respect for their fan base. Rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, the I'm wood texture right on the back screen is nice, achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, "Test achievement, please ignore." What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally <laughs> accountable. Oh, it's oh, my it's fault, hilarious. Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Oh, is this a reset? No frills, oh, no I didn't know. Gimmicks, we'll just see. You and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I have to say so far, I'm I'm actually quite enjoying it, like especially the new con the new content. Um Oh wow. So that's the same room as before, but now it's We're in a totally different area. Psst. What? Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Uh do I go um, down the vent or do I go in there? You don't there? want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork. No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go into the vent. Dork. I'm curious to see what happens when you don't go into the vent, but I'm going to the vent. All right. In okay. the vent. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special oh, and cool. took it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Oh, wow. Look. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite like memories phone. so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable. Wow, this is PC. very cool. The memory zone. Wow, this is very cool. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Oh, look, a dollar. Unachievable. Oh, so those are the old achievements in the game. Wow, this is really, uh, I really like the architecture of this house. It's cool. It almost reminds me of like a cathedral or a church or and something. Over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, We're so I love James Stephanie uh, end up less Sterling web, uh, YouTube Stanley all the time. Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was oh, you remember playing the first Doom? Wow, yeah, created. Doom really changed it everything. Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk. So, with an hour of new elevator content. I like this one candle, how it's messed up. <laughs> See how it's all bendy? That's cool. All right, let's keep moving. Whoa. Memory maintenance. Okay, so that, that, that door doesn't open. Holy, this is actually like really exciting, um, seeing this new content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable. I have a feeling. Richly stimulating commentary on the nature of Joyce in games. Because the last whole review was a ten, and this was a nine. I think they're going to keep going down, and the narrator is going to get more angry. Within a game, nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Yeah, I mean, I understand the connection you're making with oh, Doom because Doom really revolutionized the uh, times, the gaming world. So now this door is open. And I think Stanley's again. parable could have Wait, made an impact on the gaming world as well. I recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down there? <laughs> oh, look at the oh, Steam man. containers. Oh, God, no. Reviews. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing so as cool. well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. No, I, I like the narrator. Funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of oh, art. I that's suppose cool. I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Yeah, this is this is great. It's very, very, very self-aware. I got these like earbuds, and my ears just don't work with earbuds, and they keep falling out. Okay, right, another negative sense. review. While the idea for the game is good, and no, 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 for oh, you can't read that. Non-linear games. This preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley. I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm. I also like how they have the uh, the person's name right there. <laughs> it's actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had so you know who wrote this. As being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much. Hey, Blackbird, what's going on? Areas. How are you doing? Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. This These is black marks are my all new content. I love it. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything. Cookie Nine. So the can catch up with his I wonder if the names are made up or if they're actual reviews. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means. Hey, foolish! How's it going? From the record, you doing good? Only positive reviews of the Stanley. Parable. Whoa! That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I do anything for the customer, Stanley. That is crazy. They just came out of the came have. out of the water. Oh, that is really interesting. And now, what the heck? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my So have any of you guys actually uh, tried the first you, game? With just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. Whoa. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, no. Okay, I pressed the button. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long... What I created for the show? Um, season 1 and 2, I did uh, graphic design. So, a lot of patches. Like, pretty much on Miller's helmet, all his patches, I did those. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. Oh, and, and on the other seasons, I did VR, so I actually wasn't really creating stuff. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe <laughs> 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I, I also did uh, a lot of 3D rate, printing as I well, uh, some 3D modeling and 3D I printing. Think the skip button has been... 
Stanley, Stanley, I'm talking Stanley, about on please the experience. don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the... Oh, Stanley, look back. Oh, look, look there's back. a little tree. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. I mean, I've also done a lot of other stuff on the show, too. Like, I controlled the robot arms in season six. Just um, I 3D modeled the, uh, or, or 3D model edit the Laconia bird. You're here again. Like, because we had to 3D print it. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? After Let me a year. describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing. Oh, you're making a builder suit. That's cool. For the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a What uh, material are you using for the jumpsuit? Do the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, oh. I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt. I wonder how long each uh, audio segment is. Curious. Oh, the button doesn't work anymore. All right. So I guess I got to just walk around. Huh. Oh, you have to wait till the button lights up. Okay, now the buttons light up. So now I can press. Yeah, so maybe I can talk a little bit because I don't have competing audio from the game, the narrator. So yeah, basically, um, after season two, um, I was doing VR design. So basically, I would take the sets and then put them into VR. And, and if you look at my channel, you'll see some like 360 videos. And that's an example of what I do. So before we build the set, I'll put it in uh, 360. So yeah. Whoa, what the heck? I, yeah, I can tell it, but also it sounds like there's like... But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their Oh, I noticed the, the clock's on the ground. Us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. Yeah, I actually think the uh, the a uh, wetsuit's really See, good to use. Hold on, I, I can show you. Um, yeah, so using a wetsuit for a belter um, jumpsuit is really good. I don't think they actually... They, did they use wetsuits? No, I think they used something else. They had to make them from scratch. But um, I'm going to post in the chat right now. So... So Blackbird, if you were to check if you were to check that link, lack of accountability. It's, it's uh, a 360 video of the Rossinante, and that's basically what I do for the show. Willingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into. It's essentially using a gaming engine called Unity, and I'll put the sets in VR. Hey Matt, what's up? You can't stay long. It's all good. Yeah, the ending of the expanse that was intense. Um, I was gonna say that uh, I'm glad you're here. So I'm playing uh, this game just got released today. I'm a huge fan of the first one, so I thought it'd be interesting to play on my channel. But it's nice to see you, Matt, and stay as long as you like. And uh, hopefully, I can answer some questions. End is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Is never the end. 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 Oh my gosh. Is never the end. 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 It's probably just loops on and on and on.
It's never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. Oh wow. What the heck? It's like the room's destroyed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Oh, I see what happened. Broke through. Yeah, I think Sir Gussie's right though. The room's getting destroyed by time. Oh, I like this. This is fantastic. 40 years have passed. Yeah, what the heck's going on? Okay, we're back to it being creepy. I can hear the wind blowing. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the heck? Well, now the button doesn't want to be a button anymore. Now it's just on the ground. Hi, button. Bye, button. Oh my gosh. Whoa! That is so cool. Alright, I guess I just keep walking in one direction. I was not expecting this, to be honest. I think there could have been less button presses, maybe. Maybe it was a bit too much. Could have got to the point a little quicker. This is really cool. So, there's two ways you can sort of approach this. Is it time-based or is it distance-based? Like, for the trigger for this to happen. I'm curious. Oh! Wow. So I was like one full loop. Of the new content. All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley cool. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. Oh, look, new new content. <laughs> the desert is a bad thing. There has to be one more push. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Maybe yes, that uh, desert was Mars. Exciting to show you. Mars being terraformed. All right, let's go check out this new new content. So yeah, for those of you who might not know, there's going to be a uh, it's a loop, it's a loop game. Now we're looping back. This ultra deluxe version has turned out to be the original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Let's take it a step Which further. Is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, what? What? Oh my gosh. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory. Are you we'll cover I see, I don't know if the game's trolling or not. Entirely what? New experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I don't know. What the f Oh my gosh. No, I think the standing nah. too is just so much catchier than ultra deluxe i think the game's trolling what what does it even mean this but is insane parable too now that's an artistic statement right there 
It's future oriented. It screams logo ideas, and innovation, and long term no, franchising yeah. potential. Um, I mean, it took now a really clear, like long time to get the game out. Down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features <laughs> I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific wow. or logical, really. New features. It looks like uh, the red carpet being rolled out on the Expanse, uh, you know, release. <laughs> Expo Hall 2, of course. Stanley Purple 2. Wow, this looks really good, actually. Go on, try out some of the new features. Merch. There's no one here. All right. Oh, oh where to go? This is really cool. I was, I was not expecting this. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in there though. A common complaint okay. of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, the reassurance you're bucket. the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You okay. may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest... It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on. Okay, give I'll give the bucket a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Now I have a bucket. I think that just holding it well, what has am made I gonna you do with the, the bucket? slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable 2. I don't even think it's... Like, why did they say it's Stanley Parable 2? I'm kind of... I, I, I think it's just trolling. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket, bucket. In a video game? That's funny. That no really screenshots. A... Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think. How do you take screenshots? The version, there we the go. The office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy twelfth birthday. Which would you go with? Get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Okay. Now I'm going Or here. actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Whoa. There's like a lot of places to explore. Oh, the... The jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for yes. Stanley Parable 2 Please. as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the Yes, I spent circle. all my jumps. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. The infinite hole? I want to go in the infinite hole. Easy, achieve easy achievement. Okay, now I'll go for the infinite hole. Where's the infinite hole? Well, this is pretty neat. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is portal. in fact a hole. This reminds that you me of Portal. Fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. 
You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning it honestly looks kind of reminds me of a, like a film studio. All right, infinite hole, let's go. I got the bucket with me. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. I wonder if they did this so they could just leave people going down the I don't mean to be a infinite bummer, hole. But I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than late. Great. Okay. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. I bet there's, if you stay in the infinite hole longer, I bet there's some other branching pathways, but I'm just going to move on. I like the infinite hole. I wonder if anyone's gone down the infinite hole with a bucket. That is my question. And what random words to be said? <laughs> Did you ever go down an infinite hole with a bucket? That is hilarious. Free achievement. Okay. Pull the lever, receive your achievement, no more steps. Okay, let's do it. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement oh. is still fully broken. I'm no. Wizard Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the... Hey, Sir Gussie. Thanks for going, stopping by. It's okay. Go get some sleep. I'm so happy you even showed up for a little bit. Gamers... I'm honestly just having a blast playing this. Uh, have a good time, man. So what? I'm not going to get the achievement? That's no fun. All right. Moving on. Let me try one more time. Okay. It's not happening. See you, man. Have a good one. Oh, Vitasin. Okay. What, else? what other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Is that supposed to be Stanley? I don't know. Oh, cool. The sing ah, the singularity. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no, no reward, reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unbelievable Whoa. life. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Collect them all. It's actually a really good idea to try so to collect them really all. Is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Very cool. All right, so I went through the infinite hole. I did the jump circle. Uh, did I go through here? No, I think this is a dead end. Okay. What about up here? The exit. Yeah, let's go. Th let's go to the exit. Dubstick or merch. Okay. <laughs> and it's so funny how I can't drop the bucket. <laughs> the bucket refused to be dropped. All right. Have What's you seen everything here? you wanted to? Ready to move on now? The aesthetic here kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge a little bit. Already. It's like an amphitheater. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2.
Oh. Um, well, I, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's there's another of... statue. Okay, Hold on. There's only two statues. Arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much. Oh, I think it's just telling me where the statues are. Here we go. Version two. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Those kind of remind me of R2-D2. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. I think it's pretty much what they did. A really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Whoa, so now is the game just the Stanley Parable 2? Or do I start somewhere different? This, this is, is kind of mind blowing. Of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Oh, so now it starts at the beginning. But now there are balloons. All of his co-workers were gone. Interesting. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, the bucket! There's the bucket. Can I get the bucket Stanley back? Stanley picked up the bucket. <laughs> of course I pick up the bucket. I had to go everywhere with the bucket. Now I have my bucket. I got my bucket now. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling, calling to him, him. <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Oh, that is so funny. I like and how it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? <laughs> was this better than the No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Oh my gosh. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. Sure, why not? With the bucket. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I think they re recorded all this, but with bucket dialogue. That is hilarious. Wow. Very impressive. All right. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, I don't want to do the can you broom closet it? ending. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. It wants you the can bucket. You feel that, can't you? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait, no, I don't want to go upstairs. Can I go downstairs? Let's go downstairs. Oh yes. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well nice. done. Nice. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful So now figurines. I got two of them. That's sick. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fun. And that he and enjoys the Buckets company economy, more than his boss, he too. Taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Well, he is carrying a bucket for no reason, so he is crazy. Am I crazy? He asked the Bucket. The Bucket returned his gaze. <laughs> But said nothing at all. 
Hmm, that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. <laughs> he held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And it's warm? And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come Whoa, from this. Whoa, where did my bucket go? Sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. I want my bucket. Indeed. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, Where did my bucket normal. go? And now he felt himself floating off the ground. That bucket made me so happy. He exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. I want Where the bucket it? back. I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it. Is it hiding somewhere? Stanley. I want Stanley, my bucket. It's me. The bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None <gasps> of them were his. None of them were his bucket. special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the well, only way to truly buckets. restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside <laughs> of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Oh my God. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Wow. See, that is totally different because I had a bucket. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Say what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Wow. Right away, she knew what the problem was. He didn't have a bucket. This man had no bucket. <laughs> I of knew it. Course, he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything wow. is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he, he had taken, taken his bucket. bucket with him, of course. He Perhaps needs his bucket. He didn't realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic. And I think that's a reset. Yeah, that's a reset. All right, guys, I'm just shy of an hour, All of and workers were gone. What could it mean? I think Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I'm going to wrap Perhaps it up. Simply missed a memo. Um. Well, thank you guys for watching. I think I've experienced a decent amount of new content uh, in this uh, game, and wow, that it's it really surprised me. I didn't think they were going to no have that how much. Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace extra of his content. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sign off. Thank you, Expanse fans, for watching. I'm just trying something new out. Of, um, and this is also sort of a test because, um, if you guys haven't seen that, Telltale is coming out with an Expanse game. So I want to try out this live streaming gaming thing for when that game does come out, and I live stream it. I because I have to set things up and everything. I'm also a huge fan of the Stanley's Parable, so. That's one of the reasons why I also wanted to stream it. So thank you, Blackbird, for sticking around. Thank for thank you, Sir Gussie, uh, for mod moderation and everyone else who... Because, uh, of course, people can watch this later. So if you're watching this later at a uh, different time and not uh, when it's not a live stream, thank you for watching as well and supporting the channel. So yeah, I got more Expanse content on the way. It's just taking me longer to make uh the content because i'm i want to make the videos really good so i'm really focusing and trying to make them as best as possible but i'm going to be signing off and thank you very much for watching and supporting this new endeavor of playing a video game that i really enjoy but expands content's coming soon back to the normal i just wanted to try something new and i really appreciate it all right guys i'm going to be the sequel's now paused wow they put a lot of detail into to this all right, I'm going out. See you guys. Bye.